I'm here to talk about saving the file. We all know how to save a file with the control S. However, I have to talk about previous versions. This is an XLS file. This was originally done, and you're often going to see this people working with an older version such as 2003 or earlier. The newer versions are now XLSX. What we want to do is we want to update this. I'm going to click on File. I'm going to go to Save As. And I'm just going to go into the current folder here. And then it says 97 through 2003. Now I'm going to click on the top one here, XLSX. This will be a new file. I'm going to say Save. Because if I were to save this now as an XLS, it will give us some issues. I want to show you this file. Save As. And then I'm going to go and override the previous version here, the 97 here. I'm going to go over to here. We'll probably see a warning. I'm going to say yes. I did not get a warning here, but there's going to be a lot of compatibility issues. They're not going to be able to do these charts in the previous version. I'm going to tell you that right now. It did not give me this warning. They could open it. Those charts will be hardened objects that are non-editable. Okay, I'm going to go back into the XLS version. And I'm just going to go into Open, Recent, and it's going to show that one there. I want to talk about a few more things with this. If I go into here, I'm going to go into the pie chart here. Before, it was locked out because it was an older version. See how I'm now getting nice looking charts. You can get different flavors here. And if I click on here, it's instantly reformatting it. I'll use this black one here. Again, you're going to lose some formatting that you've done. Again, what I have to do here, I'll just go on the home, enlarge the font a bit. So let's say 18. I can make it bold, of course. I can make the text here, alter sales. It's not going to alter the data. Don't worry about that, okay? And then those numbers there, if I click in here, I want them bigger. That's really standing out. And let's say I want to do a couple of other things here. If I click here, let's say I want something in here a little better here. I can click inside just that one there. You click once, you get it. Oops. It's really sensitive working with this here. Oops. I could pull that in a little more. I could pull one of them out. Just going into a couple of others here. I'm going to go into New York. If I go into here, we really made this ugly in the last one here, but watch this. I go on the design. Look at the nice sleek styles that we have here. That looks very industrial. Some of them are ugly. Some of them are really nice. When you have the 2007 or 10, it's going to be different. And it's showing different things here. It's putting numbers here, above or below here. But let's just go into here very quickly here. We've got something in here that looks a little better. And then I'm going to go into this overview one here. Again, you can change the flavor, the, the appearance. You've got that. You've got that one here that's very sleek here. And let's say you want to change the color of one data point here. You've got that purple there. I click in there. The easiest thing is just to double click on it. It goes right into formatting the data point. And then you could go into here. You've got a lot of features here with the overlap. Again, I could just go over here and I'm going to make this like 55. It's just showing things where they're going over each other. You can go into a gap width here. As I said, you can make it complicated. And I say try to be decisive quickly on the whole thing here. Um, you've got these things, different things here. Shadow, glow. You can get really... Not so with this. I'm being blunt about that, okay? Color, 
you want to change the color of that data point there and you don't want everything to be the same color or if I go here I'm going to click on the green one here and then if I go into the color there I could go into theme colors here it's not changing it for some reason uh, probably because we're work, working with presets here I think you're seeing what is going on here but if you go into here I click off the chart I've lost it I click it here I got the design I got the format here and if I click on here you can put borders around things you can go plot area which is what I have here I can format that selection here I could give it a fill it says solid fill I could say gradient fill you can do a lot it's a lot of trial and error there's one other feature that I want to show you before I conclude this one here um, you can funnel the information see this funnel here it's showing everything here but let's say I just want to see Detroit and New York I uncheck them and it's shadowing out the other ones because it is going by city and then you have categories you can uncheck this you can uncheck that so you can narrow down the chart I click out of it it's still showing it in here shouldn't be doing this okay um, you could go into a, a lot of things here this could be a 35 minute video trying to show you the core basics where you can do different things